Let go track two from our three from one artist. It's uh, Daryl Hall, John Oates. So many tracks to choose from from them, and that was from the H2O album. And um, Family Man, we've got one more to play from them right at the end of the show. In the meantime, yes, it's going to be introduced. Y ahora, señoras y señores, en el Dave Lowen Radio Show, es el momento de hablar de película extranjera. Disfruten. That's right, it's time for these, time for the bongos. Get them on, come on. Here they are. Woo! Come yes. on! And hit me! Come on! <laughs> okay, yes, it's time for our foreign film feature. As you know, we are going to the Oscars and especially reviewing some of the uh, international films that are on offer for this coming Oscars, which are coming at the end of April. And uh, we've got uh, Mike, the producer, with us. Hi, Mike. Hello, hello. All right, good one. We are going to Chile all right, this week for um, a, a, a film called The Mole Agent, all right? It's in the documentary uh, category. So it's another documentary. Uh, that's why we had last week. All right, so here's the premise of the mole agent, all right? Here it is. It's an 83-year-old man poses as a resident in a Chilean nursing home to see if he can find signs of abuse. It's directed by Meta Alberdi, and as I said, it's a nomination for um, the documentary series for the Oscars. Okay, Mike, what did you think of the film? I really enjoyed it. I think um, it was a heartwarming and fun story. Yeah. Uh, but with lots of other emotions thrown in as well. It was like, I almost think every single emotion you could. Yeah. It, and so basically, uh, just sort of to add to the, the storyline. So this private detective, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, is, uh, who actually was... Um, was targeted by the director just to see what sort of um, I was thinking it's quite interesting there must be some stories that they could maybe film um, about this private investigator and, um, and uh, it just so happened he had this story whereby um, a, a daughter of a, um, a resident uh, was was thinking something was amiss or something was yeah. going on in the nursing home and so wanted sort of them to try and investigate as to what was happening yeah 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 so uh, what sort of things do we sort of learn in this uh, in this in this documentary mike well it's um it's a it's a it's a tricky one to talk about without giving it away too much that's right we don't want to give away too much yeah, of the plot but it's, line um but like you kind of get to meet a lot of the different characters as such in the home and some of them are so sweet I mean I fell in love with actually about half of them yeah yeah that's right and in fact the guy the old, the old guy yeah, so, uh, yeah. Sergio isn't it yeah, that's he, right. he is an amazing choice of yeah. person to go in there and it's quite interesting that one of the uh, critics says we didn't get a James Bond film in 2020 but who needs one when we've got this amazing charming hybrid drama documentary called The Mole Agent and it's quite true, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, well, what's interesting is um, is is just uh, <laughs> there's a, there's a we can tell this bit near like the beginning when they're choosing uh, the elderly gentleman to go <laughs> into the nursing home. They've, they've got to have some sort of uh, technical skills. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, and that was a funny bit, Mike, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So he um, what did he do? He's asking him to FaceTime, like to just check he could use FaceTime. Wasn't yes, it? that's right. And, uh, and basically all of them can't. And so, uh, and it reminded me actually, Mike, because I've done a lot of work in care homes right. and, and teaching some, um, well, I remember this one well elderly guy, I was just trying to teach how to use his riser recliner to a chair. There were two <laughs> switches and it took me an hour and in the end it gave up. It was uh, and so... And I must admit, you know what? There's a lot of people talk about how, oh, you know, they're, they're, they're teaching their parents about how to use a remote control of a TV and how rubbish they are. Yeah. And I think, and I tell the parents, you've got to tell your daughters this. Basically, you've got to tell them, well, look, basically, I taught you how to use a spoon. So basically, you can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't hit me with that one. All right. So, Mike, what did you think, as in marks out of 10 for the film? I think... I think I'm going to give it 
a 7.5. Okay, look, I pitched it to my wife. My wife saw it. By the way, it's on BBC iPlayer. Yes. It's oh, on, yeah, that's so very good. It's, it's on basically anyone can yeah. see it. Unless, yeah. If you've got your, li- you got your license, Mike? Yeah. I'll yeah, I've got my license as well. Um, and so, yeah, it's on BBC iPlayer, so you can see it now, the mole agent. My wife saw it with me. She gave it a, an 8. Oh, really? Okay. And I gave It's a nice film. I gave it a 7. So we were roughly about the same area. Yeah. Don't know whether it's going to pip um, the uh, collective. collective, thanks, yeah. to the documentary post. Well, that's the thing. That's the only reason I marked it 7.5. I would have marked it higher because I did really enjoy the film. Um, but because the collective was amazing. Yeah, that's right. But I'm with you. It was a great film, this uh, this uh, um, the Mole Agent. And it's sort of a film that there's no like bad language in it and things. No. It's it's really sweet and it's interesting what he uncovers. And so that's all we're going to... We, we're not yeah, so yeah. going to say any more about that one. That's some great um, characters, though. That really got some, some great, great characters, characters in yeah. it. And as I said, um, certainly all those characters I've seen in care homes in my various professional guises. And so... Uh, and so you can relate to that. All right. In the meantime, okay, thanks a lot, Mike. So we, next week we're going to be doing another film um, for the Oscar nomination. So looking forward to that. In the meantime, always have a link song. And so I've got to play this song. There you go, our link song there for the mole agent, was not was, and spy in the house of love. And uh, just talking with Mike, going back <laughs> to that James Bond theme of the film, um, very relevant for that. Mike, what do you want to say about that? Yeah, I mean, there was a great scene where I think, what was it? The, his, oh, no, it's the care home's birthday, wasn't it? That's or right, yeah. And, um, and they announced, like, the king of the care home, and he's there. Uh, walking around with all these girls off his arm and it was just like you know the That's fact right, that he the was Bond a spy. girls yeah it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was oh just to say how they do it is they had these like cameras they did it really well how they actually um did shot the documentary yeah. uh, to make it look real um and in fact, uh, yeah, won't go into that too much. Yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah, of, that's... yeah, okay, won't say any more. All right. <laughs> In the meantime, all righty. So there you go. Ha- um, House of Love. Sorry. The Mole Agent. All right. In the meantime, we are moving straight on. It's time for this. Come on. You know. Everyone join in. Here we go. Woo! 